The Charlotte City Council will be voting in June on a long-term plan for the future of the city. The plan is called the Charlotte Future 2040 Comprehensive Plan. It details the city's vision and goals for the future and describes the steps necessary to achieve them. As you can probably guess, I'm talking about this today because any such plan might affect the housing market. The plan is intended to guide growth and development in an organized, equitable, and sustainable manner. It uses statistics to anticipate trends and issues that could impact how growth and development occur in our city. It addresses topics like land use, housing, transportation, economic development, and more. When implemented, the plan will be used to influence housing decisions as well as shape land development decisions and future community investment plans. Why is the plan important? Well, in the next 20 years, Charlotte is expected to add 385,000 new residents and 212,000 new jobs, which will grow the city proper to over 1 million people in 2040. With this growth comes increased demand for housing, and the supply of housing will be challenged to keep up. The plan anticipates that this high demand will generate an increase in housing prices and rents as well. Consequently, the plan expects that these market forces will have an adverse impact on lower income residents of Charlotte, making housing less affordable for that part of the market. To address this anticipated problem, the 2040 Comprehensive Plan calls for allowing more housing options, especially in areas that lack housing choices and lack convenient access to transit, jobs, and goods and services. The proposed policies also call for creating and expanding resources to create option for affordable housing and minimizing the displacement of residents. It identifies and measures areas in Charlotte where residences and businesses may not have had access to daily needs, choices for housing, a diversity of employment, affordable transportation to that employment, or safe and healthy environments. The plan seeks to provide more transparency and accountability as the market plans, designs, and implements public and private investments in housing, employment, services, schools, parks, roads, trails, and other infrastructure. The plan will promote policies intended to encourage a wider mix of housing types within communities. Examples of this might include allowing duplexes and triplexes on lots where a single family home is currently permitted. By allowing this diversity, it permits duplexes, triplexes, fourplexes, townhomes, accessory dwelling units, and other small lot housing types on land that were those housing options may not have been previously allowed. The plan describes 10 specific goals. One, 10 minute neighborhoods for convenience to retail and employment, diversity and inclusion, housing access for all, improved proximity to transit options and recreation, safe and equitable mobility, healthy, safe, and active communities, integrated natural and built environment, diverse and resilient economic opportunity, retain and cultivate our identity and charm, and fiscal responsibility. The plan is being recommended for adoption at the City Council meeting in June. For more information, you can visit the plan's website at www.cltfuture2040.com. This is Nancy Braun, Showcase Realty. I want to thank you for listening.